Hi, welcome back. We're working with Waverly Chalk Paint today, Pink Ballet Slipper. We're going to be doing a stencil. So let's get started. Here's the project we're working on. We have this little cabinet and I have the stencil taped on right here already. Uh, we're using a queen bee motif. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off the areas that I won't be stenciling. Um, I'm not going to uh, stencil on the bee and the crown. And I'm going to go all around the whole bead, make sure that it's masked off. And I'm using blue painter's tape. And I went over the bead a little bit there, and I'm just going to fold that back. <clears throat> And the reason this is an important step is the brush that you use, the stenciling brush, is really broad and wide. And when you're using it, you go over the space where you want to stencil, and it can go into the other areas and cause mistakes that you have to fix up later. I'll show you an example of that. We have this previous stencil that was done, and you can see over here there's a mistake. And that was because it wasn't properly taped off and the brush just hit it and it went through. So it's an extra step, but it might save you from mistakes later. Or if you're really careful, you might not have to do it this much taping. I like to kind of get wild with my stenciling, so I need to tape mine off. All right, so I'm just sh shaking up the paint. And today we're using Waverly Pink LA Slipper. And we're going to start by spritzing our brush with some water. And I'm just going to work that into the towel a little bit. You want it to be damp. And it's, it's a big brush, so... One final shake, a little tap. Oh, a little tight there. And I'm gonna start by taking it right out of the cap. You're gonna wanna start pouncing straight up and down. You can angle the brush and move it push it into areas where you don't think the paint is going. There you go. And now the fun part, the reveal. And you can see I went well beyond into those other areas. Oh, so cute. That turned out great. Looks awesome. I'm gonna give you a clip of that. Turned out great. No mistakes, no bleed through. And it looks great on our piece with our other stencils. Perfectly centered. And you want to tape it down really, really flat. So you pull it tight. And I'm going to just pour on a little more paint. Pull that tight. So 
I'm just pouncing my brush, pushing the paint in, and that went a lot faster because it the brush was moist and the paint was worked into it. And now the fun part. Oh, it turned out great. <clears throat> Instant gratification. It's one of the fun parts about using stencils. Look at that. Looks adorable. And there's the rest of our motif. And we're going to keep going. Now we're going to do one on the top. All right, now we're going to position this. And I just want it perfectly perfectly centered. So I'm just eyeballing this, making sure it's centered. Now I'm going to tape it down because I'll be using the whole stencil. We don't have to tape off any of the areas. And make sure to pull it, make sure it's nice and tight. Because we haven't been used a brush recently, um, I'm going to spritz it and get a little more paint. And now just start pouncing. You can see how well that turned out. So it's instant gratification with stencils. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. We will be finishing this cabinet off shortly, so stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks.